loves welcome back to my channel today I have a new video and it is the highly requested video how to draw lips I know a lot of you have been asking me to do this video so I finally made the time to do this for you guys today so I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so before I start I just want to say I don't really have like a distinct way that I draw lips I kind of just just do it in a way so I guess I'll just kind of like draw it and then kind of explain as I go along so I had already drew these pair of lips right here and like there's I, there's like many different ways you can draw lips so you can either start with like two dots on the side as like let me zoom in two dots just like this so it can you know give you like a base and then draw that little curved line that connects the sides of the top lip to the corners of the mouth like this and like this And then the top of the lip, which is usually smaller than the bottom of the lip. And then the bottom just like this. And I don't usually connect the bottom of the lips. I don't know why, I guess that's just my style. But you can connect it if you want. a nice pair of lips right there just like that it's not perfect but <laughs> yeah but I'm gonna show you guys how I draw lips when I go about drawing them I start out with a little circle like this this is how I just you know kind of um, draw my outline for my face like when I'm drawing the circle and the lines and everything <coughs> so I'll draw like a little oval shape right here and then I start out with the Cupid's bow. Just like that. I don't know why I started out like this. I just do. And then like I make sure that the corners of the lips like stay within the width of the nose. And then I draw the little those little dots on the outside to showcase the corners of the mouth. And then I kind of like when I do this part, this part right here. Wow. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Look at the shape that that makes. It literally makes is that's why they call it a cupid's bow? Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. Oh my gosh. Yo, it really looks like a cupid's bow. Now that I see that, like I did it, I didn't realize that it really looks like a bow. <laughs> like the whole thing, like an arch, like um, an archer's bow. Like it literally looks like that. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> it literally is a bow. Cause like I just was thinking about the curved part. I didn't even realize when you turn it to the side that it actually, y'all. I know. I'm. I can't believe I'm so late with this. Like, wow. I didn't even really think about like, like has anybody noticed that? I, probably everybody's noticed this, but I did not notice it actually looks like an archer's bow. I just, wow. A cupid's bow. Duh. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm. I'm just done. I can't believe I'm just now realizing that it looks like an actual bow. Because <laughs> I was just always thinking about this curve of the lip. I don't know why. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so like, that'll definitely, I guess that'll really help you out if you think about it that way. Like, if you turn it sideways, I don't know if that'll help. But yeah, when I do that middle part, you know, I make sure that it's like this instead of just this. Unless you like that you know what I'm saying but this is a lot more interesting than just you know straight flat line you know what I'm saying so yeah wow I, I cannot believe I'm just now just that's crazy y'all I can't believe that anyways okay so for my lips I like hey, you guys um my SD card was full and the video got cut off but anyways what I was saying is that I like to make really nice full big beautiful lips juicy lips you know guy had juicy lips know what I'm saying so like <laughs> for the bottom of the lip I make it like really like really big because I just really like that style it's so cute to me 
So this this is what I'll do for the bottom of the lips right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course I don't keep the um I don't keep that line there, you guys. I need to get some new erasers, like for real. Like I don't know why I don't have I have this little ice cream cone <laughs> eraser. Like I need to go get like a ton of erasers. Like I'm gonna get like a bowl of full of erasers because I notice that I'm always out of erasers. Like how am I an artist, but I don't got erasers. Like mm -mm. That is not gonna happen anymore. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do for the bottom of the lip. And I kind of make the line a little bit thicker just to, you know, indicate the fullness of the lip. So I'll make it like thick right here and then I'll let it like, you know, kind of taper out into a smaller line, like on the sides, just like this. Ta-da, see that? And then um, I can show you guys a little bit of the shading. Like I'll usually make the top of the lip darker since you know in real life the lip is facing the top lip will be facing towards the ground um so it'll have uh, more shadow on the top than it will on the bottom and then i like to shade it kind of like this kind of um this just really defines it kind of leaving a little white space right here as i shade it and keeping a nice little highlight area like about here so something like that because not always do I shade in the lips but if I do then I'll, it'll be something like that but I don't I don't know I don't it just depends like what I'm feeling for the look of the drawing whether I shade it in or not but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how it would look if I finish with it. Finish the whole thing. So yeah, there you go. It's a pair of nice, juicy, shiny lips. It's not realistic style. This is my semi-realistic style, as you guys know. That's what I do. And yeah, that that's how I draw my lips, you guys. Um. Next, what I want to show you guys is, um, first I'm going to show you guys how to draw like an open mouth because I know like with lips, you're going to want to know how to do that too. So what I like to start off with is with the middle part of it. So where it's open, so like I'll do that Cupid's bow again. And then, so I guess we'll do a smile, right? And I'll do the corners of the lips. So I'll do those little cute little, little dots right there. And then, just draw the mouth as if it was open. And then of course, you know some teeth are gonna be there too. Y'all, I messed up. Oh wait, no I didn't. And then I'll do the top lip. I was like so confused, cause like that was looking like the lip right there. <laughs> like this. Okay, so. After I do the top lip, I do the bottom lip. And like I did it for the other one, I just make the bottom part, the line just a little thick right here and then I like let it taper like this. See? And then you can shade them in if you want to, or you can color them. Let me know if you guys would like me to do another video on coloring lips. They'll probably be like more on the realistic side since I don't like do that much when I color my semi-realistic lips. Cause I would like to do a, like a lip coloring tutorial on like coloring, you know, those really fancy um, lips that makeup artists do and they make it all pretty and colorful. Like I really want to, draw that so I'll do a video on that and maybe it'll help you guys like with blending colors too so yeah I think that'll be fun and I'm just shading that part in there you have it and also what you can do like this is optional it's like the bottom teeth and then like Maybe the tongue right here, and then just coloring in that part. So for the inside of the mouth, like that. See? 
So this was the tongue right there. And that's the bottom teeth, and then that's the top part of the teeth. So now you have a smile. And also, I'm gonna take my blending stump, and I'm gonna blend this in just because, you know, I want a smoother look. And this is optional. And then I'm going to show you guys the other lip technique that I do. I'm gonna blend this part into. And, yep. So I hope that helped you guys out. Okay, so this other lip technique um, I learned from artwork by Gabrielle when I took one of her classes. And basically, it might it might work for some, maybe it won't work for others, but it's basically about using values, like I said in my previous video on how to draw noses. Like, value makes everything easier instead of starting out with the line. So basically, all you really have to do is make, um, like, shade in where the lips will be like this kind of like an oval shape and it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always erase I'm gonna make sure that's zoomed in all the way and it is clear so yeah just shade in where the lips will be so you can just you know know like you know the values so it could really help you out like that and then just blend this part in like this I think this is how she did it, it was like this so now you kind of have like this shadow and then you want to do the corners of the lips right here and right here and basically just do what I did um, when I just drew it without the shadows and I just used the line. So basically, it kind of just helps. And I did this part a little bit too high. Because you want to make sure that the top lip is smaller than the bottom lip, but it's all up to your preference because that's the, that's the beauty of art. You can do whatever you want to do. And then, like this, but I don't know. I guess that's just another way to do it. Maybe that could be easy for you and then you can just add more values in and make this part darker. But it's all up to you, like whatever style works for you. But I just, you know, draw that oval and just do it like that. So yes. Lips are really fun. Like, I just love drawing lips and noses. They're just so much fun. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, yes, this is how I draw um, lips from the front view. And yes, this is how I draw lips from the front view. And next, I'm going to show you guys how to draw it from. The side profile and the three-quarter view so for this face I didn't finish the chin and everything because it just helps me when I have the lips there to kind of guide me so what you can do is you can kind of make an oval shape kind of like this you see like that and start out with the cupid's bow that's what I do and then I just round it like this. I make sure that the lip does not come um, past the nose. And then I make the corner of the mouth. And then if you want her to smile, you can put it like here. If you want her to smile, you see? And then, so I'm gonna just erase that so I can just show you basically the position of the corner of the mouth can help you decide like the um, expression of the lips and then I'm going to just draw that to that and then draw the bottom lips like this ta-da and then I'm going to connect the lips to the chin And then after that, um, you can you can either leave it like this or 
which I probably wouldn't do that and then I would or just do like this like that and color a lip in like this just like that and then you have your lips from the side and then you can even do like this if you want you give a little smile and just play around with it and also make sure to look at look at reference and um, I'll do a, a different video and showing you guys how to do side profile okay so the next one we're gonna do is a three-quarter view and so you know just make sure you have that line to guide you and then go ahead and draw yourself another one of those ovals like this and you can look at reference for this because I also have references. Um, I'm going to show you so you, I can help you guys out. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on my Pinterest at Raw Sushi. Um, actually, it's <laughs> Pinterest.com slash Christina Loray. So you can just go on my Pinterest and find all of my boards here. I have a lot of references um, that you guys can look at to help you guys. Um, I have male drawing references and uh, model references and facial expressions and hair too. I'm going to do a hair tutorial, don't worry, I'll do that. And lip references that I just made today so you guys can check that out. So you guys can look at this and it'll like help you. So for the three quarter view you can look at this picture since this is at a three quarter view and if you look at it you can see how it's like like a heart at the side so I want to show you guys how I draw that three-quarter view and if you ever need help just look at the reference so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the the middle part of the mouth like I don't know I like to do that first sometimes but but also like I kind of do it like at the same time like I'll do the middle part and I'll do the top part at the same time and then what I'll do is I'll start out with that, this part of the lip right here. Bring it in and then do the other part. And make sure that the cupid's bow is lined up with that middle part of the nose. And then bring that on down to the corner of the lip. Like this. And then you can go ahead and draw the bottom lip. Like this. Now this is definitely not perfect, but yes, this is how I would go about drawing it from the three quarter view. Okay, wow, I do not like that chin. <laughs> I'm gonna make that come down a little bit more. Okay. And this is how I would draw my lips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you all some. Actually, I hope it helped you all a lot. And sorry, it's not perfect. But um, I just wanted to, you know, share my techniques with you all. And I hope you all learned something from this. And yes, let me know in the comments below what you think. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more soon. And also thank you guys so much for 87,000 subscribers. Like that's so awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to follow my Pinterest as well, as well as my social media at Raw Sushi, which is my art page and Chris Loray, which is my personal page. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. God bless. Mwah.